Hello everybody, it's Kathy, Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. Now, we have went through most of the steps in this how-to series. And by the time you see this, I'm hoping that you'll have seen them all. If I can get them uploaded. But what I want to show you now, is this is the finished barn quilt. And I want to show you how to draw this pattern. Now we've been drawing it as we go, but I'm going to, just going to take it step by step so that you can draw out the pattern for yourself too. Let's get started. Okay, let me show you how I do it. Now, you know, I always say find the center of your board so that your pattern don't get off-centered. So we found the center and all I did was measure 12, you know, like up to 12 and then 12 here and then I just connected my tick marks. And so what I do is put just a little tiny, just a tiny, tiny nail. This is like a paneling nail. Right in the middle. And I've got my board that I'm going to draw on underneath this paper. That's what it hammered into. <laughs> Not my counter. Alright, so this little hole, I just stick it like right over top of that nail. And then I'm going to take this red and I'm going to put it on, let's see, I think I want it, I want two inches from the side. That'd be ten. So I guess my first block, let's put that, let's try seven and a half and see what happens. And see I'm measuring that, that point right on seven and a half. Now, you could put it either place, but I'm, I put mine at the top, and I'm going to try it with this marking uh, colored pencil. I'm going to stick it right down in the hole. Now, I'm kind of put, pulling against that, not too hard. We don't want to dislocate it, but just pulling against that and drawing my circle and moving everything out of the way while I'm going. Now, well... Sorry. So, I should have already done that. And I'm just going around. Trying to keep my paper straight, too. And that, that's my biggest problem, is I have things laying around. I don't, I don't clean off enough space before I start drawing. I get in a big hurry. <laughs> and it always hits something. Okay, so we've got that one, but this pattern has a double circle. So we've got that one at seven and a half. So we're going to put this one at nine and a half because we want that circle to be two inches wide. So we've got it at nine and a half. And I'm going to screw it back down. And now I think I got everything out of my way, so <laughs> we won't be hitting anything this time. It would be my video if it wasn't comical, right? Okay. I'm getting attacked by a yardstick. Okay, so we got, I'm going to pull against it again, not, not hard, but we're just sticking our pencil in that little hole and going all the way around. You won't have to worry about your paper, yours bulking up on you like this paper's doing. And I won't have to once I draw it on my board. But you see that? Now if I had some great big bowls or something like that, I could have done it with that. And I hope you can see that. But that's how you do it. And this is called a bullseye demonstration compass if you like it. It was not that much, and I've had it for a couple of years, 
and it, it works fine. So there you go. There's our circle. Okay, I wanted to show you this because this would be the most complicated part of drawing this peace sign. We've got the circles on, right? Well, now I took this arc, and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you to do it without that. But I took the arc, I laid it in the middle, and then I went every two inches and made a mark all the way around. All the way around the arc. And I've got those marks. I hope you can see them. But they're every two inches here, all the way around. And I'm gonna do that, maybe they'll show up a little bit better. I'm hoping that shows up for you. All right. Now what I did, I took, I took a clear uh, 24 inch ruler that was just easier for me. And I found this mark, see? And then I went into the center. I always go back to the center. That's why it's so important to find the center on most of your barn quilts. Go to the center and line that one up the center, and then you come down here, you'll see another one. And they all line up. So I don't need a line going through here, but I need some guidelines in my circle. So that's what I did. You see those guidelines? And when I had a couple of them drawn, now I've got some drawn here, and I'm gonna see if I can bring you in where you can see that. So I got my guidelines here, and all I have to do is right in the end, right at the very end of that dotted line, and the top, the very top of the next dotted line, I'm gonna draw a solid line, and I'm gonna go to the bottom of this one, and the top of that one, get right in there and draw a solid line. So that, I'll do it again. I have another one already drawn here and I'm just going to make an X. And if you don't get it right on it like that one, I might need to come back and work on that a little bit more. There you go. And so you got your X's. Now mine's a little bit wonky on this one. It's the first one I did, and I didn't have anybody to tell me how to do it. So I figured it out on my own. But what you've got here is, this is gonna be the red, and this will be your orange, and this is gonna be the yellow, you see? So when we get to taping and painting, you'll see it a little bit better, but I wanted to show you that before I went all the way around and did that. I'll have it for you when you take a snapshot at the very end of these videos. You take a snapshot of the pattern. Um, I may go back and draw it in those darker colors for you like I've been doing. I'm just trying to use black right now. So, okay, I'll show you that, and we'll be back in a minute. So, just in case you didn't catch it, I'm doing it one more time for you. I've got the dots. I'm crossing. I'm finding that one. I'm finding my center. And once I find this one and the center, you can just look down, and there the other one is. And so I'm just making sure I got that lined up and I'm making guide marks, my dotted lines on both ends. See that? Now I think I've got 
The one thing you have to remember on the sides here, your, uh, your guidelines to find your middle is a part of the same line right here is your guideline for that mark. So we're just going to go around and connect them now. And remember, we just have to find the top. Okay, I think y'all got it now, right? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to draw the inside of our peace sign. Now, I wanted it to be two inches. Well, guess what? When I drew my tick marks all the way around here, then I looked down here at the bottom, and they're exactly two inches apart right here. So that's how wide I want it to be. Well, I go up here, and that's two inches. So what I'm going to do is just lay my big ruler. I wish I had a beveled side. It's a little bit more beveled over there. Easier to get right on that line. And I'm going to go, I'm lining those two tick marks up, this one and this one. And I'm going to go all the way up to my circle and draw a line down. Now don't worry about where it's hitting right in here, because that doesn't matter. Find this mark and find that one. And we're going to draw it all the way up. Now see, and we're right in the center with that. I sure hope y'all could see this. Okay, now we need to we need these two parts to be the same width too as this one. So here here is your two inches, and over here is your two inches. So we're gonna go from here. We're going to go right in the middle now, but on this corner, and draw a line line it up with that tick mark. All right, and we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to this corner, and we're going to line it up with this tick mark.
All right. Now, now we have to line it up with this tick mark and up here. So we're going to go down. I'll get the small roller for that. I've got paint all over this one. I'm just going to make a tick mark at two inches. And I'm going to go over here and I'm making a tick mark at two inches. So now I have something to line this one up with. See so if I line it up just straight. right now and that will be two inches I'm doing the same thing over here there you go now we've got we got our peace sign here now we're going to make one, two, three. We're going to make three diamond shapes in here. Okay, so here's what you do. This is 15 and one quarter. So I went in the middle here and I measured five and a quarter because we need three blocks. So a three into 15 and a quarter was like five something. So I I put the quarter right here. And all I did was make me a mark here and here. So now I already got the marks here and down here for the other two. So you got one right here on this, the end of this line and one here. So you're already in the center. So I took my line here, you know, the from the center and I just drew a line from that from that line to the center like that and then I just went up to that one and then I had my five and a quarter marked off and I went that way and this way now I wanted to find the center of this line. So just measure it, whatever you got, and find the center. Here was my center. So I just put my ruler across and centered it up and made me a line here and here, or tick mark. So now what I'm going to do is go from the end of this diamond to that tick mark. And from the end of the diamond to this tick mark. And then from that to the top. See that? So I found the center of this one, which was right here. I went over here and I made me two tick marks. And I'm going to draw from the top of that diamond to that tick mark. And it's going to line up. Now I'm going back to this one. So we've got our diamonds drawn. See that? And now we only have to have one diamond in here. So, let's find the center of this. So this is six and a quarter. So it'd be like three and an eighth. So we know where the center is there. I'm going to put a tick mark here and one here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. It's three and one eighth. And I'm going to put two tick marks. All right, now I don't want that diamond going all the way from end to end. 
although that would be pretty. Maybe that's what we do want. Let's do that. Let's do that. I think that'd look better. So we, we're we just going to go up here. We're going to find the middle. The center of that would be on one. This is two inches, so it's going to be on one. Now this one's two inches. It's got a little curve in it, but that's all right. Just go down there and find a little tick mark at one. Again, this one's got a little curve in it, but it's okay. Just find one. Okay? All right, now we're going to go from this tick mark to here. I think I'll use that little one. I know it's got paint on it, but I think you can see better. And from here to that tip mark. See there? We got it. Now that's all they are to drawing that. Um, except for our border. And we're going to have a two inch border. So we're just going to draw a box around there. And I'll show you how we're going to... Um, I know on your paper on your screen that looks like that's off centered but I promise it's not it's just the way the paper I cut it is still 24 across there but we're going to have a two inch block over here well, we may have one Yeah, let's just do a one inch. Okay, I said I was not going to do this, but I did it anyway because I just felt like when I was taping and drawing the pattern, I, I just didn't know how good these lines were showing up. So I went over the lines again. So when you take your screenshot here, let me make sure it's up high enough. Where you could get the whole thing and you could take your screenshot and save it to your phone or iPad whatever you're using you can see the lines better now I didn't go over the circles again but let me show you what I did with the border now you can de design that border any way you want to but of course you you've already seen how I did it so what I did, I put my ruler here, and I, I measured off four, so two on each side. I went to the center, and I measured two here and two over here. So I had a four-inch block here, and then these two blocks are four inches. And I've done the same thing all the way around. And so of the rest of them, I got the yellow and the two orange, so the red went all the way around the corner here all the way around the corner and you've probably been seeing that little nick right there I guess the saw got it at the factory <laughs> so I you know I'll be keeping this one because I I wouldn't dare give or sell this one but anyway here is here is your pattern again and I just put red and orange and yellow and yellow um, the colors are, so I'll have that on here for you, um, and I'll try to put it in the description too. This one, this is new black, and it, don't it look like chalkboard? Now, I've not sealed this yet, but don't that look like chalkboard? It's not as, um glossy as the limousine black 
but I, I kind of like that look. Uh, this one is Precious Sapphire. The brighter blue is Deep Space Blue. The light is Cameo Blue. This one, Dark Green, is Vegas Green. This is Bold Avocado. My red is Heirloom Red. The yellow is Chickadee Yellow. And my orange is Autumn Blaze. And I just incorporated those same colors in my border. So anyway, I hope you had a good time with this. Now, one of the how-to videos, you know, this is the one that we're using for our how-to series. So in one of the how-to videos, you'll see me painting it. But I just wanted to draw the pattern for y'all and like I do all the other uh, videos, just the barn quilt, the, the pattern and the quilt, and didn't get into a whole lot of detail with, with painting and taping and that sort of thing. But that's where the how-to series will come into play. If you wanna make this one, you can just go to those uh, how-to videos and see exactly how I did every step of the way. All right. Have fun. I hope you make you one. And remember, you can make the circle smaller and have two-inch blocks if you want to. Like this one that I did. That's two inches. I just made my circle smaller. See y'all all in the next video.